Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play, well, let's play this war of mine, the Little Ones DLC. First of all, thank you so much for turning off your ad blocker, it really does help uh, support my channel, or you can support it on Patreon, the links are down below. Anyway, we were out scavenging, and um, lovely, I forgot to start my timer. <laughs> uh, brilliant start. Um, so yeah, anyway, we, we were out scavenging and we got some pretty amazing stuff. As you can see, four um, fertilizers, some wood. I actually didn't bring as much wood as I probably should because there was just so many goodies around. Only, you know, some components. We have some moonshine, we have some uh, parts, we have some medicine, some bandages, a broken helmet and a pistol, which are quite, um, they're quite high value even when broken. And of course some food, which is usually the priority. So anyway, let's uh, get Zlata to, uh, to sleep. Also Emilia, because she's uh, tired, she's been on watch. Zlata, did you have adventures? What did you find? And she ignores her because she's sleeping. Alright, so Kalina is not hungry, so we just need two meals today. So Kalina can go and uh, cook for us. You know, very safe having a child do this. Uh, damn, we don't have any, um, vegetables, which means we'll have to use 10 water and 4 fuel. But, of course, Kalina can't make, um, fuel. Actually, wait a second, she can make some, uh, oh wait, never mind, we don't have any, uh, filters, so she can't get water. Damn, okay. Hopefully she's not gonna say I've already played this today. Ah, damn! Even though she hasn't even, you know, she's barely begun playing there. Oh well. She's not sad, so that's okay. So let's see what the new biography is. We lived in an expensive villa with spacious, bright rooms and large windows. To protect ourselves from stray bullets and splinters, we installed a double bed and a small heater in a cozy dressing room on the ground floor. We spent most of our time there, talking, reading, listening to music, and playing games to stave off boredom. Well, unless a bomb fell. Right, so she's hungry, content, and tired. That's good. She's, uh, Emilia is slightly wounded, and so is Kalina. So hopefully they'll, uh, you know, heal up. Slightly wounded and slightly sick, I'm usually not worried about. Well, slightly sick is a bit annoying, but, um, usually, you know, not that much. So anything with slightly, I don't usually, um, take care of with bandages and medicine. Especially not medicine. Um, and I just try to have them sleep it off. Um, anything over that, like uh, wounded or sick or anything above that, definitely. I try to, uh, you know, use bandages, use uh, medicine and stuff like that, because if you don't, you know, if you don't buy the bullets and use the resources, it usually just gets worse. So they can get seriously wounded, seriously ill, you know, terminally ill even I've seen and stuff like that. I don't remember that from the original, you know, without the DLC, terminally ill. I really don't remember that. So anyway, our first um, objective right now is to get, um, to upgrade the workshop so we can make an axe. Now an axe is an excellent weapon and you can chop down wood, you know, not only at home but also in other places you go to scavenge. Um, and that just, you know, yields you loads of firewood, wood, and other stuff. Okay, there we go, enough sleeping. Okay, so she can make some, uh, firewood. And I'm probably going to make some, uh, filters as well first, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna make some filters, I'll have Kalina come over here and get some water. Or put the filter in. And start the whole uh, purifying process. Oh yeah, I do apologize about that. I've completely forgotten that um, the music is a little bit loud. I do apologize that, but that's also that's also because um, not only because the music was loud, but because I actually forgot to properly adjust the volume of. Uh, uh, the, the, my voice in the videos when I was rendering, so I do apologize about that, that was, you know, mea culpa and all that. Alright, so she's still slightly wounded. It's not a huge deal. Um, I think I'm just gonna keep her in bed. Now again, I don't know if that actually helps them when they're in bed throughout the day or not. It would be nice. 
Can she do anything with this? Probably not. Right, so we need two food. Damn, using almost all that bloody water. It's not very nice. She's only got two places to play at, so that's... It's not a huge deal right now. Alright, there's the food. At least there's some relief. And they're happy because we helped that girl, you know, in the supermarket. Alright, so let's see how much we need to upgrade the uh, workshop. Now, we have to be careful, though. Soon we'll need a heater as well. Okay, we need lots of components. Uh, soon we'll need a heater because winter is coming. And I'm not going to do the, the general Game of Thrones joke. <laughs> Although I will do the, you know, nothing, John Snow. Uh, right, I'm not really gonna do a shovel. Not yet. Alright, so let's see. Uh, I should upgrade the workshop as well, so we can make cages and such. Uh, might do a still, but I, I really need lots of components. I think that's our next objective, to get lots of components. Maybe I should make the radio. One radio will be made. It does help with morale, and you can also, you know, hear about, um, the weather and such. Uh, where can I place it? No, I want beds to be up there. Um, maybe all the way over here. Why not? I know it does take components as well, but, um, well. I'll try to get just components on this uh, run today. Or tonight, should I say. Because we really, really need them. So we're gonna go for places where it says huge amount of components. At last, something good happened. And of course, we're going to be careful about it. Um, I mean, uh, careful. It's going to be, you know, weird because we'll probably find some nice stuff as well. Due to recent shortages, the prices of cigarettes and tobacco have become exceedingly high. Many people need cigarettes to calm down, but how can they be calm knowing how much they must pay for them? We interrupt our broadcast to inform you of a tragic incident. This morning, a mortar shell exploded in the marketplace, killing over 60 people and wounding many more. That's the music. The upcoming day should still be nice and warm. Perfect for a stroll in the park. Okay. So we don't need to worry about um, heating just yet. Actually, come back. I'll use the last uh, couple of components. I think I have enough to uh, make another water filter. There we go. And she needs to eat. She's only slightly wounded, so she can then get her own food just fine. There. We're lucky it's not cold in here. Alright, and get back to bed. Unfortunately, she'll have to guard at night, so... What can you do? Things will work out eventually. So we have two medicine, we have three bandages, and herbal medicine. One herbal medicine. Uh, oh, wow. I didn't know we actually ran out of food. We've only got three canned food left. That's... Hmm. That's not very good. We're gonna make it. Huh. I, well... The next day, all three need to eat, so... <sighs> hmm. That sucks. I will need to find some food as well. Alright, so let's uh, put another water filter in, so it can, you know, we can get some water through throughout the night. And then we'll probably just end the turn. Uh, the, the turn. We'll, uh, we'll end the day. And go scavenge. There. Alright, let's end the day. Okay, so she's gonna sleep in bed, she's gonna guard, and she's gonna scavenge. So... Half of it is in ruin, but there are people living in the other half. They don't seem friendly. At night, you can sometimes hear shots fired from there. We could probably scour the abandoned part for supplies if we manage to sneak past the inhabited part. Hmm, well, huge amount of parts, but... Huge amount of materials... Uh, huge amount of materials, lots of parts... Lots of materials, huge amount of some parts. Damn. Some parts. Well, none of this is really good. I mean... Mm, the school has been shelled several times. Unfortunately, most of the cellars have collapsed. So it might be a good idea to bring a shovel and maybe some other tools. They say some homeless people have taken refuge inside the building. Well, maybe I should go, go there and, you know, just pick whatever I can. The military outpost I really can't do anything with. Um, because they only trade, and if we would j just want to kill them, that's not exactly a good thing. Quiet house, I'm not gonna steal there. 
It's in a housing estate that remains almost untouched. It's a calm area of little houses with porches and gardens. Most of those houses are still inhabited. People are trying to lead normal lives there. We've got nothing to look for there, unless we're will willing to steal. So I'm gonna go to the shelled school, and I'm not going to take anything with me. I'm not going to take the crowbar, because most likely, it's just going to take up space. <clears throat> I hope we really don't need it. I mean, the homeless are probably not going to attack us unless we steal, but we'll see. I heard they had classes when the shelling started. Poor kids. Alright, so let's see what we can get. Okay, I need parts. Well, it's not, not a bad start, actually. There's some rats here. Nothing there. Wow, absolutely nothing. Now, this is actually blocked. Interesting. This is quite a big place, and damn, there's al already rubble there. And rubble there, I believe. Ooh, that's not good. Ah, oh, really? Nothing there either? That sucks. Wow, well... Let's get past this rubble, because I believe there's two pieces of rubble here. Well, you know, I'm too stingy to actually make a shovel. Because usually I just like to... Yeah, you can hear them here. Uh, usually I just like to brute force the, the place. You know? I mean, brute force. Just use my hands, because, well... Usually you don't need that much time to scavenge a full uh, inventory. Unless, of course, there are enemies around, and you... You know, you're trying to uh, get them, hide in corners, and then kill them. Whoa, that was a big explosion, actually. Did you hear that? Boom. This is night five. Come on, then. See, if I were to make a shovel, I would have to use all those materials. And I wouldn't really be any better off. Yes, we could, you know, clear this quickly, but... We don't have a lot of inventory space anyway, so unless there's gonna be loads of debris in the way again... I think this is the only one over here. So we can just, you know, forget these... Oh yeah, I'm forgetting if you can see my, uh, mouse. Damn. I should really make sure that you can see my mouse. I'm forgetting stuff, I've got so much to do. So much to do, and so many excuses to make. Alright, let's uh, see, come on. Finally. Well, there's quite a bit of wood. Alright, I think that's a rat as well. Oops. Some loose planks. I could easily rem uh, remove them. There's more rubble over here. I don't know if you, you can get up. Probably. Alright, come on. Get some good stuff. Well, it's not bad. I mean, those parts are always nice. They're quite in... You know, short supply. They're fairly rare. I say fairly. Oh, look at these, uh, tables here. Ah, excellent, that's what I'm talking about. Excellent. Okay, so now I'm going to look for more parts. See, it's not even halfway through this night, and we already have a full inventory. No reason to bring a shovel here. Okay, I'm definitely getting the components. Because we have quite a bit of, um, wood. But right now, we need components, and lots of them, to upgrade stuff, and, you know, generally just to make stuff. I really wish we had Boris. He's so good at this, because he's got such a huge uh, inventory space. Oh yeah, that is awesome. Okay. Look at all that wood. Wow, we gotta come back here later on. That's pretty insane how much wood there is. Okay, that's blocked. Who the hell puts bloody grates like that? It's like prison bars in a school. I guess their school was a prison. <laughs> oh man, school was prison for me. I hated school. Damn. You know, I don't need no school. Look at me now. Oh. Hello, man. Are you going to... No. Yeah, you can always count on friends. Can I... I thought she fled. What? Are they... Are they trying to kill me? Whoa! Oh, yeah! Look at this stuff. I'm coming back here. Alright. Let's run to the exit, I guess. Um... Hello? 
Actually, I should go back, because it's gonna take a while to get back. We'll need to find some, uh... We'll need to find some food. Is this guy trying to kill me? Come on. Hey, man. I'm not trying to hurt you guys. I'm not trying to steal. I'll leave your stuff alone, don't worry. Yeah, always be careful when you're scavenging that you have enough time to come back before it hits 5 a.m. Because if you don't, as I said, uh, your character won't come back right away. It might take, you know, a whole day for them to come back. They might not come back that day at all, I believe. Or they might get injured or even killed. So you gotta be careful. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and we're going to continue next time. Bye-bye.